Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill. And yes, I am home from the toy hunt, and I am finally going through everything I got on the toy hunt. Given it so much, I'm going to start off with the plushies first. We got a big, huge Iron Man plushie, which I saw one of these in Dunstan Checks In. I think it was in the Spider-Man Spider version of this. So this is an Iron Man big scale plushie. And we got a lot of figures to look at. Being plushies and action figures. We got Squidward from SpongeBob. Couple little My Little Ponies. Yes, I picked these up because they are so cute. And I'm a sucker for cute things. <laughs> Yeah, that's the word I'm going to use when I pick up plushies that are female ponies that are cute. <laughs> and we got some more Frozen stuff. We got some Frozen, Disney's Frozen plushies. Sorry if I had to correct myself. And, of course, a plushie of that candle guy from Beauty and the Beast. And there are quite a few plushies I got today. And the Mighty Morphin, Pink Ranger, Go Go Power Rangers, no, 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 no. Go Go Power Rangers, you Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Couldn't help it. <laughs> that figure put me in the singing mood. And now we're going to look at more of the figures. Starting off, what's in front? I got an Imagine X. Batmobile. Now I just need a Batman and Robin to put in this Batmobile with my Batcave. And of course, we got some figures in this bin here. Baymax from Big Hero 6. Superman McDonald's toy. A bunch of Imaginex. And one Playmobil. That's what's in the Ziploc. A Bakugan figure from a Happy Meal bag. I love Bakugan. Marvel display figure, a Scarlet Witch. Ooh, we got the dog from Secret Lights of Pets. I don't know this one, because I didn't watch the movie. If you know then leave me a comment if you know this character. Patrick from Spongebob. That's one show I remember from my childhood. Frozen display figure. A figure of Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z Kai. I love this old figure. Sure, he's a worse for wares, but I'll find a place for him in my collection. Groot from Guardians. <laughs> Another Imaginex guy. He's like an invisible man. Yes, I'm starting a collection of Imaginex. Drac from Hotel Transylvania. A couple of these wind-up Clone Wars ATTs. Because... I can never get too many of these, so I got two of them. And of course, a Hot Wheels car that is really hardcore and awesome. As soon as I can. It doesn't light up or anything, it used to. So that's something interesting. A Dalmatian from 101 Dalmatian. Optimus Prime from The Last Night, and this is a display figure, and it's magnetized. Ain't that awesome? Spider-Man Top. Donatello riding a motorcycle. Michelangelo, not Donatello. Correct myself. Goofy Train Cars. Ain't that goofy for Disney. A Mickey Mouse and Goofy Train. I love Mickey Mouse. 
can't help it, I'm a Mickey Mouse fan. Gotta know who this is. What's up, my dudes? It's Beast Boy from Team Titans Go. And I did watch that. Some minions. Ooh, can never get too many of these. I'm trying to open myself up to a lot of thrift store finds. And Princess Peach from Mario. Yes, I love Mario. What else we got here? A little soda machine. Ain't that interesting? An accessory piece. And these little engine master like transformers. I kind of dig them. They're cool. I like them. Thomas the Tank Engine. Remember him from my childhood, so I'm going to add him to my collection. Bo from Toy Story 4. And of course they had Emmett from the Lego movie. Emmett is just a cute character from there. And if you stole my Wild Style review, then you know who that is. And this is a figure from my childhood. These weren't very popular, but they became a, a little cube man that looked like a real dude almost. It's neat. It's cute. I'll add it to my novelties. And here we got another minion. Wrapped up dude. That's all there is to say for the first set of stuff. So we're going to put this back in the bin. And move on to the stuff behind it. Ooh, this is a heavy bin. Back in you go. And apparently I dropped them. Give me a second to pick it up. And that's for the figures from the small figure stuff. We got a Frozen doll of Elsa. And yes, I am starting to pick up more Frozen because I'm opening myself up. And she makes noise, which is pretty cool. And I, and I love noise gimmick figures. She's awesome. I better turn her off. <laughs> or she's going to keep making noise. And we got a VTEC Dino Transformer. And I love this thing because it's like a knockoff transformer. It's pretty cool. I'm going to turn this thing off because it's going to keep making noise. Sorry, dude, but you got to shut up. <laughs> uh, a neat transformer gimmick. And here we got scoops from Bob the Builder. So we can... Because I remember Bob the Builder from when I was a kid. Why wouldn't I pick this up? I'm a huge toy nut. And this takes me back to my childhood. I'm not going to get any more of these. This is probably going to be on the shelf displayed. Maybe I'll review it if you like this figure. That's all there is to say for scoops. We're going to look at more stuff. Let's start with... We got the Mickey Mouse in the BT Cruiser hooded car, and I love Mickey Mouse. But with the engine part missing, he's more like a dune buggy than a car. And he rolls, like rolling things should, and that's all he does. We got a complete Battle Scar Gundam, well, missing a shoulder pad. But with extra hand accessories, the Battle Scar Gundam, I think it's the from G Gundam. And I love some Gundam. 
And this is a Battle Scar Gundam, my very first, and I love it. If you love Gundam like I do, it's awesome, up a toy line. And this is an original MIS figure. So glad I have this in my collection now. And with extra hands. Hands are appreciated on this channel. And we got next on the list, we have some Spider-Man gloves. I cannot wear these, but they are Spider-Man, so you can have his web shooter and go with it. It's an option. I'll have to find a way to display these. But for now, they're going in the accessories bin. Until I can make an accessory bin. Until I can find a way to display those. Next on the list, we have a near complete Revenge of the... F not Revenge of the Fallen. Transformers, the original one by Michael Bay. Bone Crusher! And this is probably the most interesting transformation. Since I can get things to unpeg. <laughs> eh, bit tricky on me. Been a while since I've transformed one of these things. But I know how to transform him. Which is very good for an old figure. I think I originally had a Bone Crusher at one point. But now I'm glad to have him again in my collection, especially him. As soon as I can straighten out his legs and get him standing. And he's missing an arm, I know that. This is a used... Salvation Army figure. Of course, he's going to be missing some parts. But he's near, nearly complete. Besides that, he is complete. But, yep, we got Movieverse Bone Crusher, baby! <laughs> and Bone Crusher is an awesome figure. I don't mind if he's missing a hand. I might review him anyway. He is awesome. So glad I have him in my Transformers collection. And finally, last but not least, we finally have a complete Yukio Dark Magician. And yes, we have a staff for our Dark Magician. That is, a, that is his proper staff. So we can go Dark Magic Attack and... And totally destroy a monster in Yukio. My life is awesome to have a complete Dark Magician. Yep. And he's got the coins with the Millennium Puzzle, with Exodia, and his handler, Yuki Moto. So my life is complete having a Dark Magician in my collection, to finally have a complete one makes my collector self happy. Oh yes, I am so happy now. I am beyond happy today. And just so I don't lose these coins, they're going in the accessories pack. In the accessories bag. And I'll have to hold on to these. Next on the list we have... You guessed it, we got a movie Optimus Prime gun. Lights up and makes... I am Optimus Prime. And it makes noise. It's awesome. Blaster ready. Optimus Prime rocks. I am definitely... I am Optimus Prime. I am definitely adding this to my collection. Oh, yeah. Next on the list, we have a nearly complete Last Night, I mean, Age of Extinction, Grimlock. Missing his arms. If you, one of my fans finds his arms, 
finds his dino mode arms, I would well appreciate it. Once I get up to a certain amount of subscribers and I'm able to accept donations. But yeah, a near complete Grimlock. I'll probably just display him until I get a complete one. Or I get the accessories one of these days to complete him. Next on the list, we have a mint in package Rogue One set. I love Star Wars Rogue One. I got another Sand Trooper, that one guy who had the machine gun. It's awesome to get a two pack like this. Definitely going to unbox this in a review. For sure. And next we have Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet. Too bad the other stones don't light up. But I love Thanos' his Infinity Gauntlet. I have one for my display of Thanos' collection. Not Thanos' collection, but my Marvel collection. There's going to be at least a couple corrections. Yeah. But next on the list, we have some Ninja Turtle stuff. We got Michelangelo's Nunchucks from Ninja Turtles and Raphael's Scythe. I love Ninja Turtles accessories. You're probably wondering, which thrift stores did I get all this from? A lot of this came from Goodwill Outlet by Walmart in North Versailles. Out past my work in North Versailles. And the rest, some of this stuff came from Salvation Army. And also out in North Versailles past Kmart. And from Goodwill past Salvation Army in North Versailles and Kmart. Past Kmart. So yeah, a lot of good haul stuff today. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And whenever I get a chance to do more toy haul videos, I will make sure to shoot them. Especially. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.